fifth dimension, beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. It's an odd way to spend the last night, isn't it? That's going to be our world for a long time, Sam. And yet we stand out here watching her just three hours before we take off. The blasting area will be cleared by all 200. Are you afraid? I don't think so. Are you? I am frightened. I'm frightened of what we'll find up there. Well, that's the one thing you shouldn't be frightened of. Well, the unknown, sure. The, the loneliness, the silence. That should scare anybody. But I've got a philosophy about people. I mean all people, Sam. They're the same all over. People on Mars. Wherever they're able to exist, they'd be the same. You're looking at a species of flimsy little two-legged animal with extremely small heads, whose name is man. They're taking a highway into space. Man unshackling himself and sending his tiny groping fingers up into the unknown. Their destination is Mars. And in just a moment, we'll land there with them. Mr. Conrad, as you'll no doubt soon realize, you are speaking our language. Your language? Unconscious transference. But you must be tired. We'll prepare a place for you to rest. Is this a Martian house? Is this the way you live? Oh no, ours are considerably different. We built this because we assume this is the way you people live. That's wonderful. Uh, you want me to stay here? For a little while. Enjoy yourself, Mr. Conrad. Enjoy your house. 
Oh, uh, let me show you out. After all, it is my house. Tina, I will see you again, won't I? Of course you will, Mr. Conrad. Samuel Conrad has found the Twilight Zone. 